Tino, look, 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 look. Hi. Hey, hey, how are you doing? Oh, this Very is going to be so much fun. I like looking at myself while doing an interview. Can you get that? Look. We're already starting on a note of flying guy. Hey guys, you're watching Heavy Betting All Stars. My name is Paris So we're introducing Dino Moria. Hi. How are you doing, Paris? Very good. This is the coolest show in the world because we have the hottest celebrities. Ooh. We've got the best television anchor in the world, frankly. That's true. All right. I like it. It's good. I didn't have to fish for that. And of course, the stars of the show always are animals because we love them. Right? Yeah, but right now the only animals are us. Right. Cool. Dino is doing something incredibly cool today because he is an absolute animal lover. You're doing yes. something called the World for All Calendar, absolutely, which featured on Heavy Petting last week actually. Yeah. And uh, you're one of the cool guys who's going to be there with doggies. I'm going to be in the month of December, hopefully. Okay, you know, posing away with a little puppy, female. Hmm. Go for it. So I like the fact that you know this is the only show in the history of the world in Indian television where you can actually say the word bitch because that's what it actually means. That's also true. It was a little bitch and yeah. she was so beautiful. It's fantastic. It's really nice. I like bitch. Yeah. Biatches. I like it. Don't push it. <laughs> I mean, but it, you, you know that's yeah. why when I when I go to my vet, for instance, he says your bitch. The first time I went, I what? But that's the word. Yeah, that's it's a, a bitch. classic example of us just taking a word and losing its yeah, meaning. Yeah, exactly. We just take it out of the you know the dictionary and and misuse it. Correct. So a bitch is a bitch. Correct. I shot with my bitch today on a bike. What do you know? You know uh, when they're giving somebody a driving license, they should really be concerned and show that they can drive. We given him the license to use the word. Now he's going to use it like 50 times in a sentence. You allowed it. I said it. We're putting a ban on it now. No, but the word is is, is in the English dictionary. So, <laughs> but you know, if, I mean, it, it's yeah, fair no enough. Yeah. Definition. I mean, we're not saying anything bad. No, no, no. Don't beep it out because yeah, a female dog is called a bitch. Right. Moving on. What was your question? <laughs> So, what was your first dog that you remember? Like your first pet dog that you were like, oh, those are my memories. All right. Uh, when I was very young, we had a boxer. His name was Rusky. Wasn't a bitch. His name was Rusky, and that was my earliest memory. Not too vivid, but uh, because when I was, uh, I think about five, he died. He fought with a snake. No. Yeah, with a cobra. So that was my first sort of memory of of a pet. Which I had thereafter. I had. I remember I had a squirrel. We had birds at home. You had a pet squirrel? Yeah. We had. I mean, when I lived in Bangalore, we had this house with a garden and stuff. So my dad found these two squirrel babies. So we brought them into the house and brought them up, and then they disappeared. Then I had a little chick. Sure. I had a chick too. Of course you did. I've always loved animals. So, I mean, I've got three dogs right now. Well, at, at, actually, at any given time, I've had three dogs. Since I moved into my house sure. in Bombay, yeah. Now, you know, a lot of the times when we're talking to a lot of people on the show, they all love dogs and cats and horses, etc. For some strange reason, though, the women who've been on the show tend to sort of get completely creeped out by the poor cockroach and the humble lizard. Hmm. Why? Well, women are mostly creeped out by creepy crawlies. Uh, I used to, when I was when I was young, used to be sort of. I mean, they they sort of icky. You know that you get that icky feeling when a, you see a cockroach. Strange. I think it's a mindset when when you're a child, and you see a cockroach, and your parents scream. So you scream. You think it's 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 something dangerous. They're not. It's fed into you. It's fed into you. Yeah. So you're like I said, when you're young, you're impressionable. You think cockroaches, they do something drastic. What can that yeah. little thing do? Yeah. He just run. He can run all over you. Just that creepy feeling. But that's about it. They don't do anything else. All right. Now, when it comes to naming doggies, what are your doggies called? Okay. Right now, I've got a a, a stray who's called Ganpat. I mean, I had to give him an Indian name. You know, everyone gives their name to the dog Tommy and Timmy and whatnot. Yeah. Uh, I have a Labrador which I just got, and the owner already named him, so I kept the name. But it's pretty cool. It's called it's called Maximus. Okay. You've got Gunpat and Maximus. Maximus, yeah. Right. Different worlds, man. Sure. And I have an old stray, who's about 16 now. Okay. 16, and he's, he's beautiful and old, and he was adopted by my younger brother when they lived in Bangalore, and they sent him to me. And his name was Slidey. Why? I don't know. Apparently, as a as a puppy, he used to run and just slide across the floor like Elvis. So they called him Slidey. Instead of Elvis, they called him Slidey. Slidey. So that name stayed. And I love yeah. that combination: Gunpat, Slidey, Maximus and Slidey. And Maximus. Yeah. That's really cool. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Now, 
When was the last time you went out for your for like? Do you walk your dogs? Or okay, yes, yes. on and off. What is it with this whole? I unfortunately can't keep a pet because, like I always say on the show, if you have a small apartment and if you're not in Bombay, don't do that to the animals. Yeah, it's, it's not fair. It's so I don't get to do this. I have to just you know rely on my raw sex appeal. Yes. But somebody like you can rely on just the dogs to get a lot of women when you're walking them. Yeah, when you walk a couple of bitches and you walk with your dogs. Oh, he's back. It's amazing. No, it's really good. You got to you know you got to take your bitch out for a walk every now and then. But what is it with women loving men with dogs? You know, happens, it's, it's right? like when when it's like when a man walks with a baby, women go ah. Oh. Yeah. When a man walks with a dog, they go ah. Oh. He might be available ah. Oh. You know, so that's what it is. And if you, especially if you're walking with a bitch, if you treat your bitch well, the women think like oh, mm. I think so. I think that's what it sort of you know signifies. Comes together. Uh, but yes, I do take my dogs out once in a while. But uh, fortunately, I have space around my house, so there's enough. Every evening, I'm. Playing with them, you know, having a lot of fun, throwing the ball around, the go fetch. Uh, sometimes I'm not there, so I have someone who walks my dogs and, and uh, come back. But when I had my great day and I used to take him out, that guy created. I mean, he would just attract a lot of attention. Okay. So one part of animal love is that you know you want to have like a certain kind of a breed, and then the other part is the climatic condition. Now we live in India, a tropical country, etc. Is there one dog that you really want where you're like, oh my god, that's the pet I want, but maybe it's not suited to Bombay? I've seen people actually walk in Bombay, St. Bernard's, and I think it's torture. It's just cruel. I've seen people with Afghan hounds, oh, and they've completely, yeah, huskies, and they've completely cut their hair. Some people, yes, spend on air conditioning bills and 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 keep them in a, in an air conditioned environment, which is still not good. It's not good. It has to be naturally cool. Uh, I love the size and the the largeness of a St. Bernard. Yeah. And I think they're beautiful. Even the Neapolitan Mastiff is just beautiful, huge, but just cannot live in a city like Mumbai. Which is why I enter the Indian dog. Like Dino said, you know, pick the doggy, which is absolutely right for you. So, how did you get Ganpat? What's the story there? Well, Ganpat came to us. You know, I mean, uh, my Dalmatian had just passed away, and uh, my guy who helps me take care of all my dogs, he found Ganpat apparently walking around in front of our house. Mm -hmm. So I feel he stolen him from somewhere, but he found Ganpur walking around somewhere, and Ganpur came to the house, and he was just unbelievable. He was just unbelievable. He was a small little stray, but he's just the most beautiful dog. And he gets along with the other breeds. So Ganpur came first. He gets along with my older stray, mm -hmm. and now Maximus has just arrived. Uh, is younger, but they're just so amazing with each other. Okay. It's amazing. As long as you introduce them in a in a common space outside, and bring them into your house, they're all fine. That's all good.